I turned 16 and I wanted to make my own money because my mom is a single parent. Now 17 year old Maria Viegas is one of thousands of minimum wage earning Angelinos who will make an extra dollar per hour come July 1st. I feel excited because I'll have more money to save up to buy my car. I would like to go to college and study criminology or business and then later on in the future be stable enough to take care of my mom. From a business perspective, is this a positive or a negative thing for you? I'm happy that the employees are going to be able to get paid more. They're going to be able to react to the inflation better. But at the same time, small businesses of this size, we're only five stores. Uh, it, it can be like an impact. In June 2015, Mayor Garcetti led the coalition to sign the $15 minimum wage increase into law. When we raised the minimum wage in L.A., we became the biggest city in America to do so. Built into that wage increase, an annual adjustment for inflation starting this Friday. Every year on July 1st, we'll look at what the cost of living increase is, and then we will be able to automatically, without having to pass something ever again, increase minimum wage to make sure you never fall behind. We've reduced poverty by 27% in the city of Los Angeles since we raised the minimum wage, and two-thirds of minimum wage workers are usually women. Raising the minimum wage addresses the gender wage gap. Progressive entrepreneur Joe Sandberg has committed millions of his own money to try to make minimum wage even higher for all Californians. The Living Wage Act of 2022 is going to increase California's minimum wage to $18 an hour. It'll be on the ballot in November. He says it'll add $6,000 pay a year for 5 million people. It's personal to me. My mom raised me by herself. I saw her working many jobs and she still couldn't make ends meet. The National Federation of Independent Business represents 15,000 small businesses in California. Right now, small business owners are trying to crawl out of a very, very deep hole from the COVID disaster. They're facing inflation. They're facing problems of retail theft, supply chain disruption. They are trying to survive. You put more money in the pockets of workers, people who need to buy things. You stimulate consumption in the economy. If you'd like to learn more about the Living Wage Act, we've linked an article on our website, KTLA.com. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting from Hollywood for KTLA 5 News.